everyone, how are you doing? Last week we've learned about verbs that add s, like jumps, runs, and moves. Adding s to the verb tells what one person or animal is doing now. But today we will learn about verbs that do not add s. First of all, we need to remember that plural means there is more than one or it's not alone. It's not alone. Here's a couple of plural nouns. Birds, teeth and bananas. These are plural nouns and they mean more than one. Now look at this sentence here. Who's going to read it? Yes, good job. Flowers bloom. Flowers is a plural noun. It's a plural noun and it means more than one flower. That's why we don't add s to the verb here. Look at the verb bloom. We don't add s at the end of this verb because flowers is a plural noun. It's a plural noun and it means more than one flower. What about these sentences? Which one is correct? Let's read them together. The children play with toys or the children plays with toys. Look at them. Which one are you going to choose? Great! The children play with toys is the correct answer because children here is a plural noun and it means that there is more than one child so that's why we don't add s at the end of this verb play great job now let's look at the next one the next sentence here okay we have two sentences here which one are you going to choose? First, we need to read them. The stars shines or the stars shine. Which one of them is correct? The first one or the second one? Remember that stars is a plural noun. So, what we are going to do with the verb Yes, yeah, so we don't add s at the end of the verb because stars here is a plural noun. It's, it's about more than one star, right? Great job. Thank you for listening.